This is a Hot Pie Media Original. Did you know, in 1927, Floyd Joseph Calvin, a journalist, had the first radio talk show which focused on black journalism. Broadcast on WGBS, it was the first show of its kind sponsored by a black newspaper, the Pittsburgh Courier. It's a good book. And today we'll be reading another good book. It's one of the favorites of my children. Uh, Caps for Sale by Esfir Slobotkina. I think that's how you say it. I'll just show it to you again. So, Esfir Slob Slobotkina. Slobotkina. By a Russian. Welcome, guys, to Gray Area Storytime. And as always, let's bring in my guest. Come on, girl. Welcome in. Kennedy. Woohoo. Say hi, Ken. All right, you ready to read this book, girl? This is one of Kennedy's favorite books. She loves this book, and hopefully you'll love it as much as she does. Caps for Sale by Esfir Slabatkina. He's got a lot of hats on his head, huh? To Rosalind and Emmy Jean, and to their grandfather who loved to read to them. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps and a bunch of, a bunch of brown caps and a bunch of blue caps. And on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! That's how he sounds. Hmm? That sounds like I sound. That's how he sounds today. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street, and he walked down the street calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for rest, he th thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First he checked his, first his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. He must have long arms. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt his head. He felt, excuse me, before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. Oh, no. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue, or a red cap. Uh-oh. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. 
Hey, monkey, skin my hat back. <laughs> you monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me my caps back now. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tis, tis, tis. What I do, Kennedy? There you go. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, tis, tis, tis. How's it go, Kennedy? Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. By this time, the peddler was very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap. He threw it on the ground and began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and he put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps at the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back into town calling, caps for sale, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. The end. I got caps for sale, huh? I got caps for sale, huh? Caps for sale. Good book, Ken? Caps for sale, caps for sale. Until next time, you guys be kind to one another. Say bye, Ken. Here's mud in your eyes, guys. Thanks for listening. You can find more episodes and all of our other Hot Pie Media originals baked fresh daily at our home online at hotpiemedia.com, the Hot Pie Media YouTube channel, or wherever you listen to podcasts.